Forget the BBC bundles, forget the $80 monkey punch, the King Kong Gorilla microtransactions at Call of Duty. Forget the cheaters, okay? We got a new Call of Duty game coming out, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, that's right. Black Ops 5, buckles. Trailer is coming. Release date is confirmed. Even the reveal date has been teased. There are two videos that I'm going to share with you guys in this one. First of all, we're going to get right into it. Like the video if you're not going to fall for it this time. Dislike the video if you already fell for this Call of Duty. Uh, I want to know where you guys at. All right, roll it. Resting news surrounding Black Ops Golf War, or at least okay. what we thought was Black Ops Golf War. It yeah. turns out that the previous leaks and rumors were true, and Microsoft will be revealing COD 2024 directly after the Xbox. Xbox game showcase on Sunday, June 9th. This will yeah. be the first time in 10 years that Call of Duty will be on the Xbox stage. Man, Mofaker said that, okay, we're gonna buy Activision and Call of Duty. That used to be third party, now it's first party. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, where the Xbox homies at? Where the Xbox homies at? I'm sure, like, y'all gonna be doing helicopters with your willies, the Sony ponies on the back. Listen, I play on a Sony pony console, so it's just banter, okay? This is not, like, Xbox Andy's bad or Sony ponies bad. No, 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 it's none of that. But, like, damn, bro. Like, this is crazy, though. This is crazy, man. I'm, I'm ready to see, like, what happens. I just hope that we don't get, like, the, the, the friendly UAV online. I hope that we don't get friendly UAV online bundles in this one. Because but. of the previous PlayStation exclusivity deal, it. which runs out with Modern Warfare 3. The last time we saw COD revealed on Xbox Holy. stage was all the way back in Advanced Warfare, which was for freaking Crazy. ever ago. So on top of the typical X would you rather Call of Duty Van Garbage 2 or Advanced Warfare 2? I would go with Advanced Warfare 2 all day, bro. Xbox stuff that's going to be revealed. It looks like immediately after the Xbox showcase, they are going to do a massive deep dive into Call of Duty 2024, and they have given us this image right here. If you've been following the leaks and rumors over the course of the past couple of months, this is actually the COD 2024 logo that was found within the Modern Warfare 3 game files a couple of months ago. Yeah. It shows a three-headed <laughs> dog because the internal code name for COD 2024 for is Cerberus, but what's even yeah. more interesting is how yeah, honestly, bro. Like, if this year Call of Duty doesn't get saved by Treyarch, we're gonna say 2025 will save Call of Duty, 2025 will save Call of Duty. <laughs> You know that's gonna happen, guys. Come on, man. Who you lying to right now? But personally, like, I'm actually low-key. Just, just tiny bit. Just tiny. Like, like, just tiny bit. Like, looking to see, like, how this, uh, this game is gonna look like. I know some of you will be like, well, Skizzle, it's gonna be like the, the rest of the Call of Duty game. <laughs> You're right. I'm not denying that. But, like... <laughs> It's a new game, I guess. New game, we're still gonna have remaster mess, but like, uh, there's that. I mean, bro. How they are Wait teasing the game with the typical Treyarch and Black Ops redacted lines, but this was very meticulously done for fans to figure out the game's name. Now, if you look closely here, you're going to see little bits of white and even some orange poking out from behind the redacted lines. If you simply place the Call of Duty logo on the top line, you can see that it fits yeah. perfectly. At yeah. the very bottom, you can obviously see this is supposed to be the Activision logo. Not only yeah. is it where it always is, but you have the A sticking out and you have the registered mark, so very clearly that's <laughs> Activision, but the most interesting part is going to be the Black Ops name. Yeah, there is yeah. no way we can fit. Yeah, a lot of suckers are now saying that you cannot fit Black Ops Gulf War here. Uh, and it really feels like that this is O, this is P, this is S. So, like, the internet detectives have been all over this right now. And the internet detectives, you guys gotta understand that they have been, like, putting in a lot of work in order to figure out, like, what this title is gonna be called. And apparently the conclusion here is that it's gonna be called Black Ops 5. <laughs> yeah, so... <laughs> I mean, we had Black Ops 4, we had Black Ops uh, Cold War Ride, which was considered the fifth Black Ops game, but not necessarily Black Ops 5, but it was considered the fifth Black Ops game, uh, and, and there's a lot of confusion. Confusion! Confusion is everywhere in the Call of Duty scene right now, and the community is just uncertain, like, what this game is gonna be called. Some people are calling this Black Ops 6. Uh, I mean, technically, it's gonna be six Black Ops, but if you then count Black Ops Declassified and Black Ops World at War, it's gonna be like the eight Black Ops game. Bruh. I, I know I'm confusing a lot of you guys right now, but but like yeah, but I hope it's called Black Ops Five, or or what if they just call it Call of Duty Black Ops only, right? Yeah, they Black can. Ops Golf War here. But if you insert the Black Ops logo, it fits perfectly. Well. What about that orange mark there? <laughs> this is not confirmed or anything, but most fans believe it's meant to be an orange V for five, making yeah. the name of the game 
Black Ops 5. This has been met with some controversy within the community because for some reason people get really yeah. upset about yeah. how games are titled. Like I remember a while ago, before we learned about the Gulf War name or whatever, I would just call COD 2024 Black it. Ops 5, basically, yeah. right? As a placeholder name because we didn't know what the name of the game was going to be. And yep, then you true. have people flying out of the woodwork. Um, actually, Cold War is the fifth Black Ops game, so it would technically be Black Ops 6. And then you ask them about World at War, which is set in the Black Ops timeline. Nero, please. Nero, please. And so where does that fall into everything? And then they get all confused and upset. Like, dude, yeah. it really doesn't matter. We are playing... It's just a name, dog. Like, who cares? Matter of fact, like, seconds know that it's going to be Call of Duty Black Ops Cronus Warfare, dog. Or call it, like, Cronus Ops 5. <laughs> yeah, who, we can who cares about the name, bro? I, but I know, I know, like, if they call it Black Ops or just Black Ops only, Black Ops something, it's going to sell. If they call it Modern Warfare or Modern Warfare number, uh, put a number, or Modern Warfare something, it's going to sell, right? If they call it Call of Duty Ghost 2, <laughs> nobody's buying it. No, may maybe you are a fan and you're going to buy. Okay, whoa, not talking about you. You're a diehard fan, but, like, generally speaking, the casual player is going to be like, mm, eh, the last uh, Ghost actually sucked massive jump. Johnson, it was uh, worse than uh, you feel what I'm saying, Bruh. right? But but like yeah, so Ghost is not gonna do too well. Advanced Warfare not gonna do too well, but I guess like uh, basically the point here is that if they title it Black Ops or Modern Warfare, it's gonna sell. Like seconds don't care. It's gonna sell. It's gonna sell. And at the end of the day, who cares about the 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 name? The game needs to be good. That's all that matters. They can call it Ghost Three, Ghost Your Mama, or something like that. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, at the end of the day, the quality. We we need good maps. We need good content. We we need make Call of Duty great again. Make Call of Duty free. Make uh, Warzone not be the primary focus. Like the video if you agree. By the way, I mean even if you love Warzone though, y y you cannot deny that the multiplayer has been suffering. Zombies have been suffering. Can a brother also get like a pausing button in zombies? Is that too much? Playing to a ask? franchise that had a game called Call of Duty Four. Modern Warfare, and yeah. then we had Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3. And yeah. then, in 2016, we had Modern Warfare Remastered, which came out three years before Modern Warfare. And then they just reused the old Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3 names and changed the letters to numerals. Like, we all just agree that the naming and branding in Call of Duty has been pretty terrible. I think Black Ops 5 is a fine name for the game. It's way more simple than Black yeah. Ops Gulf War. And I believe agree. me, as like I a agree. YouTuber who has to title and tag and optimize videos for search algorithms and all that nonsense simpler is better if you have like this giant name it doesn't really work out nearly as well the black ops name is iconic obviously you have to have that in there you yeah. can make a gulf war but just throw a five after it and people are okay with that they remember black ops Rex. 4 they remember Rex. gulf war is gulf war and this one's black ops 5 very simple yeah, name don't honestly like uh, from a fan perspective like it don't really matter uh, i guess like if they call it black ops yeah it's gonna hit a lot of people in the g spot absolutely but then it's gonna be all about if the game is good or not, right? Like, it, yeah, I do agree if they were to call it. No offense to the Ghost viewers or the Ghost fans out there. But let's be real. Let's be objective. If they call it Call of Duty Ghost 2 or Ghost Your Mama, people are not gonna be, like, you know, hitting the G-spot, like, if they if they were to call it Call of Duty Black Ops, right? If they call it Black Ops, uh, a lot of people are gonna be like, oh, shit, oh, shit, the numbers, the numbers, Mason, the numbers, the numbers, the numbers. All of a sudden, you get the Vietnam flashbacks. All of a sudden, you get flashbacks of the time when you were in school, and, and you know, there was a chick that was looking at you, uh, and it could have been a thing between you two, but you were like, nah, bro, like, I gotta go run. I gotta go run, man. I gotta go back home. I got a homie that's online right now. I got my homie homies online right now they be waiting for me to hop on the zombies on the black ops multiple Bruh. right so all of a sudden you're getting those flashbacks and uh yeah like it's it's kind of weird man nostalgia is uh, is uh, definitely uh hit people a lot of people in the g-spot bro so. very easy that may be what they're doing here but again that's not confirmed although it's pretty much all but confirmed because yeah, the logo not not confirmed but pretty much all but confirmed guys uh check this out so this is the homie uh, mr garlic oh, he, oh, I'm shaking he loves shaking and you know what this what happened and check this out, roll it. This image we're seeing are in an orange color, very similar to the Roman numerals that we see with every Black Ops logo. You can see that above and below the main image, there are words that are redacted, just like what we'd see with Black Ops, and the direct underneath is written in Call of Duty's hit marker font. If you are still not convinced, then this is the hook, line, and sync up, because you're looking at this image and you're thinking, why do we have an image of three dog heads? That's very random. How is that tied to the next Call of Duty game. 
Even even my dog is like, yo, bruh, am I the dog or he the dog? Am I the dog? I'm not sure who the dog is, bruh. Well, inside of the files for Modern Warfare 3 is a logo for Call of Duty yo! 2024. And the <gasps> logo is this image. It is literally the exact same image. The internal yeah. code name for the next Black Ops is called Cerberus with the wolf logo. And yeah. what we're seeing here on the showcase image is exactly that. The game internal logo as a actual official marketing image. Now, whilst this image doesn't tell us a lot about the details of the Black Ops game itself, the redacting has done the opposite of what it's supposed to because yeah. people have been able to work out that this game might not be called Black Ops Golf War after all. There is some real detective work here looking at the bottom redacted. There is just enough gaps on the left and on the Facts. bottom and then the top. Along. Honestly, bro, like this is a Call of Duty hype season right now once <laughs> People gonna get excited. People are gonna be like, oh shit, <laughs> I, I need a Call of Duty. I need a Call of Duty game. I need a Call of Duty. And, and a lot of rumors are also flying around that we're gonna be getting like some older Call of Duty games coming to Xbox Game Pass, which is actually really good. I only play on the Sony ponies. I got my, I got me a good PC as well, but I'm a console peasant. I only, uh, for the most part, only play on my Sony Pony 5s, right? But even uh, I have to say this, like, dog, like, Older Call of Duty games coming on Game Pass, W. But can a brother also perhaps get to see this be on Game Pass? Uh, I know a lot of suckers would be like, oh, if it's on Game Pass, it's gonna be free. Nah, I'm gonna forget. It's not gonna be free, but it's gonna be free if you have Game Pass. Uh, yeah, but but still, like, it's gonna be a good time. For example, if you already have Game Pass, right? If you, if you whether you're a PC master is uh, having Game Pass, whether you play on Xbox, you got Game Pass. You are if you already have Game Pass, right? And then you find out that this upcoming Call of Duty game is on Game Pass. Oh shit! Yeah, absolutely. Oh hell yeah, bro. Hell yeah, you're gonna save a lot of money, and I'm all up for that because the way Call of Duty is going right now, it's like, come on now, bro. Like, it, it needs to be free to play. Just make this g entire game free to play. Cheaters are rampant. We don't get that much content. Microtransactions, BBC bundles. I, yeah, you thought BBC bundles were bad. Right now, we're getting like monkey punches. Uh, we're getting $100, $80, uh, yo mama type microtransactions. I mean, damn, bro. Like, they have turned Call of Duty into a Casino Royale, they have turned it. Just change the name to Call of Duty Microtransactions Warfare or Microtransaction Ops 5. Like the video if you agree, dislike if you disagree. But yeah, I would say make it completely free or put it on Game Pass as well so people get to save money. I mean, come on, bro, like, people should be paid to play this game, bruh. Uh, but, uh, but... I low-key am kind of looking forward to it. I'm not gonna deny. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. But I'm cautious. I'm cautious. I'm cautiously optimistic. Uh, I I'm not necessarily optimistic. I kind of am optimistic. Cautiously, though. But cautiously. Along the Thoughts? ends, you, you can are, actually you work out that of the word ops here in this logo, but you can see at the very edge, there is a weird color that's not white like the normal Call of Duty logo in this top yeah. right corner. You can guys, uh, this what happened recently. I'm not sure if you guys were able to catch this. Apparently, this is going down in Call of Duty. Yeah. Check this video out and I'll see you right there. A lot of people mad. On the left, this video is on my second channel. Yay, second channel, guys, second channel. Check it out.